All right, so this next mnemonic is Perla. It's to help you remember the normal pupillary reaction that you're hoping to see. So Perla stands for pupils equal round and reactive to light and accommodation, P-E-R-R-L-A. Under normal circumstances, the pupils will be equally round, react briskly to light, and will also accommodate when an item moves closer to the to, to them. So this is testing cranial nerves three and four. It's very important to do this. You want to also understand what their baseline is. Does the patient have, have they had any eye surgeries? Um, things like that. I rem- just speaking as a neuro ICU nurse, you know, I've had instances where I'm told Perla in report and then I go check and the patient's got an irregular pupil. Maybe it's oval. Maybe it's just not totally round. And I'm wondering what's going on. And then I look in the chart and at baseline, they don't have a normally round pupil. So you really got to understand what their baseline is too. So it's important to know their history. And a little note about the A in accommodation. So if you look at some more recent documents and research about Perla, um, accommodation, sometimes they leave off the A and, and, and say, you know, maybe that's not something that's as essential. Um, and it, because it's not, a, you're not able to consistently test that with everybody. And so the accommodation is actually when you're moving an item cl- farther, or I'm sorry, closer to the patient's face so they can see something close and then they can see something far and they can focus appropriately on it. And a good way to test this is to use your, maybe your pen light that you're already utilizing and then have them like follow it with just their eyeballs. And then as you move it, like let's say it's in the middle of their face and you move it closer to their face, you should kind of see their eyes cross a little bit because they're focusing on the object. So that's really important to be able to, you know, notice. Um, But it's not something that's consistently testable and very reliable of certain indicators. So some, you know, journals and research says just PERL, P-E-R-R-L. So that's just something to consider. But but the, the, you know, known acronym or mnemonic, I guess, is uh, the whole Perla thing. Like, I actually have, I'm a neuro nurse, so I have a badge and it has a brain on it and it says, I heart Perla. So (laughs) that is that mnemonic and um, using Perla for pupillary reaction. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.